going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for another quick little channel CG video. Today I am super excited to be making this video with Sanru and reviewing their little Bluetooth FM transmitter. It's completely wireless, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth and it makes your stock radio into something you can connect your phone to without any modification. It's a super handy device. I have experimented with some of these in the past and I've always kept the cheap one in the Durango because that car still has the stock sound system. There's no auxiliary port or any way to plug your phone in and if you know me, I hate listening to the radio and I always want to plug my phone in and listen to my playlists. It's an age old question. People are always like, man, I wonder if there's some way that I could connect my phone up to my car speakers without having to completely redo everything. And there definitely is. If you guys do a little bit of searching around on the internet, you can find that these are very easy to come by. Basically connect to your phone or device of some sort and transmit an FM signal. So basically you tune your radio to a blank station and tune this to a station that's got a lot of static or basically where it's not picking up any other signals that are gonna mess it up. Your radio connects to it and it just streams it right through the antenna like a radio station. Works pretty good and you don't have to tear apart your stereo. I'm actually pretty impressed with the sound quality as well with a lot of them I've messed with, but this one, unlike the others, is super high quality and it has a vent clip so that I can actually attach this to the dashboard of the car and I'm pretty sure that once my phone is connected to this, I won't even have to touch my phone because I can do everything right from this and it basically doesn't get any better than this without completely upgrading your stereo. So also a cool little feature is that the plug has two little USB charging ports on it so you can be charging your phone and you don't even need an adapter. It's not even using up a 12 volt outlet. It's a super handy feature that I am definitely going to be taking advantage of. So without further ado, we are actually going to be jumping into Durango and testing this out in this video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get this thing plugged in. The beginning of last summer, I actually made a video on a little Bluetooth auxiliary port adapter, and that video got a lot of views, and a lot of people seemed to like it, and a lot of people seemed to find it helpful. And one of the frequently asked questions I saw in the comments section of that video was, is there a way that I could connect my phone up without having an auxiliary port? And that's why I'm super excited to make this video, because it's kind of a follow-up to that, and also answering a very common question. So, so if this video is helpful to you, don't forget to smash that like button. Ooh, this is packaged very nicely, and I see this is an actual magnetic clip, which is handy. Most of the time, these clips are usually really flimsy, especially the rubber ones. The rubber's too loose, and it'll just kind of flop around on the vent, but this looks like it's going to fit on really nicely, because I'm usually not a fan of the vent clips. Oh, that's nice. Forgot to mention as well that you can actually answer calls through this. It actually has a microphone built into it, which we might just have to test out in this video as well. You can also insert a micro SD card in here, so if you want to play your music and you don't have a phone or something like that, you can load your music and all your MP3 files onto a little micro SD card and you can plug it in right there. I also have buttons here. I'm assuming for like, I don't know what volume. I am really excited about this though. That is just awesome. I gotta tell you guys already so far that I'm really liking the way this is set up. The only thing is that there is this cord that just kind of dangles down here and could possibly get in the way of some of your controls. If you really wanted to, you could kind of use some tape and really carefully kind of put it up along the edge and make it look a little nicer than if you just let it hang, but it works. And that looks really cool sitting there. <laughs> so I guess let's go ahead and get the car started up and show you guys what you've all been waiting for, which is how this thing works when it's connected up to my phone and how well it works connected up to the radio. Connecting. Oh, so I'm gonna have to connect it to my phone. There it is. It says car kit. Very cool. All right, and now it says Bluetooth connected up there. We should be all connected up. Now we just gotta set the channel. They say the best frequency to use is 108. So we're gonna set it to 107.9 because that's the closest to 108 I can get. And they say that 108 works best. Looks like we're good. The station had plenty of static. So I'm gonna go on my YouTube music app and get some copyright free music because YouTube life. Okay, there we go. I have the volume on this turned up. And when I turn the volume up on this, I know it's just a little bit of static, but it's like nothing abnormal, which is really nice because sometimes when you have these cheap little FM adapters when you turn the volume up you hear a ton of static and it's just because they're crappily made all right guys i'm filming this clip a little later but something i forgot to mention before is that there are a few tricks to reducing the static that you often get with these little fm adapters and i've messed with them a lot before and if you mess with the different volume levels and frequencies you can usually get it sounding pretty good and there's very little static like right now there is like basically no static unless i really crank it a tiny bit but it's really not a big deal especially once music is playing but the really cool people at the company that supply me this gave me some cool information about how you can reduce that noise and I want to share that with 
with you guys. So a big thing is you want to make sure that you turn your radio to a station that has a lot of static and preferably as close to 108 MHZ as possible. Us Americans, we only have odd frequencies, so we can't actually do 108. That would be ideal. After doing a little bit of searching around, I found that 107.5 has a lot of static. They also said that if you turn the volume on this thing down to about 80%, so maybe like 13, 12 and through there, rather than cranking your radio volume up, because obviously that'll make it sound terrible. And they said if you turn the volume on your device up to about 95%, so I put this like a notch or two down on my iPhone, and that gets the music sounding as good as possible. As you can hear, we gotta get some beat drop. <laughs> So, so far so good. Let's go ahead and give a song a shot. Breathe you in like oxygen. Hauling in otherwise suffer. Sounds good. The future that has changed my heart. Big tomorrow. So I was just messing around with it a little bit more and I suddenly realized that the volume on my phone was way turned down. So I turned it up like all the way, which is usually what I do when I'm plugged in to some sort of auxiliary thing. Now there's like a really cool little visualizer on it. Isn't that awesome? Look at it. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> now I can really crank it up. That just made me happy. <laughs> So we're just out here jamming and all of a sudden, oh man, we got an incoming call. I have to blur out that phone number, but. Can I hear myself okay? Actually, I can hear myself really well. Dang, it's slightly delayed. But like, you can hear me. I can hear myself so clear that I don't even doubt that I can hear myself when I'm driving with the road noise. Oh. God, the delay has got my brain tripping over here. <laughs> this is delayed a little bit, of course, as most phone calls are. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a speech jammer. <laughs> but hey, it works really good. I'm highly impressed with that. But anyways, I think it's only fair that we do a little bit of a road test with this thing and see how handy it is for us when we're actually driving down the road. 12 seconds later. Right now I want to switch the song. I'm just going to reach over here and it's already playing. But nah, I'm not feeling like this today. I'm just going to smack the button again real quick. There we go. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? I did feel like that song after all. <laughs> that is super handy and it's a lot better than trying to use your phone when you're driving, that's for sure. It's close enough that it's not hard to press the button while you're driving. It's solid enough that it doesn't bounce all over the place when you're trying to press the button. It works really good and that visualizer just sitting there while you're driving is just such a cool little touch. I love that. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pause button real quick because we're gonna stretch the Durango's legs a little bit. And we gotta hear that exhaust, as you know. pounds and having 181,690 miles on it, it's not bad. <laughs> hey, now it's even easier to crank some tunes in it. Oh nice, I actually don't have signal here. <laughs> hey, I'll sacrifice my signal for the view any day. But anyways guys, that's about all I have to say about the Bluetooth FM transmitter. Again, I give it two thumbs up, it's super handy. Definitely the best one I've tested out so far. If any of you guys have to be looking for something like this, you don't want to tear your whole sound system apart, you just want a way that you can simply connect your phone up and play your playlist while you're driving, I highly recommend you check this one out. I have a special link for you guys down in the description. If you use that, go check it out. Pick yourself up on it, it helps out the channel. And again, a huge shout out to the company for sponsoring this video. I've been wanting to make a video like this with one of these FM transmitters for a long time because of that video previously I made about the auxiliary port adapter that did really well for my channel. I wanted to do that for a really long time. I'm really excited I was able to and I hope it could be a help to a lot of you guys out there. So again, be sure to check the description if you are interested. But just a quick little channel update. I've been working on a big project that I've been hinting around about for quite a while. Video for it has been quite a bit of a challenge and it is getting super delayed for a lot of reasons. Would have been out by now normally, but it could be another possibly week before that comes out so I have some other vlog style content that I'm going to be releasing some really fun videos with some friends be sure and stay out tuned for those coming out over the next couple days but that's why there's been a bit of a video gap it's just that this project I've been working on has been a pain but if you guys want to see what this whole project is before it's mentioned in the video be sure to go check us out on Instagram I will have a link in the description but anyways guys again thank you so much for watching this quick little channel CG video you rock
God bless you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.